Hey everybody, Mike here. My experiment on building stalagmites still isn't quite done, so we're going to start something a little bit different this week. I'm going to start something that I call Roll20 Shorts. I'm going to talk about one thing that you can do in Roll20. Today we're just going to do one simple thing. It's a trick that I really like to do if I'm a dungeon master especially, but even a low-level character or a character that always does the same kind of attack or the same spell or whatever, this is a nice way to make it so that you can have a nice clean screen like we're looking at here. If you have a smaller screen and you don't have your character sheet up, this is a good way for you to do things quickly with a macro. You're not going to have to write any macros, you're just going to drag and drop things. So you're a DM, you've got a bunch of thugs out. If you shift and double click, on the left side of your mouse, brings up a character sheet, drag mace down here, ugh, I forgot to tell you something first. So before this is going to work, you're going to have to click on collection, which is really the collection of macros. Scroll down to just above decks, I'm already scrolled down, make sure that show macro quick bar is checked with a positive yes. Okay, great. Now that you've done that, shift, double click, Character sheet comes up, drag, see how you highlight the word? Drag that down there, get it into this kind of gray bar right here underneath your name. Not over here, but there should be a gray bar that is highlighted. It'll say the name of the token and then a whole bunch of stuff. Nobody wants to read that. Right click, rename, thug, mace. We click on Thug Mace, boom. Mace comes up with the attacks, with the damage, however you have that set up for your game. Doesn't matter what token is selected, I could even have this player token selected, and if I click Thug Mace, it will still do Thug Mace. It will still do the Mace attack. This is not a token macro, it's a quick macro. Only the person that creates it can see it underneath there. If you are playing a scout character, for example, if this was a character and not a monster, shift, double click, character sheet comes up, we drag down short sword, we drag down longbow, rename this one, hopefully that's the sword, scout, sword, rename this right click, rename, scout, O. You can also right click and change the color so you could set all the scouts to be red and your thugs are white, short sword, bow, boom. Just like that, that's all you have to do to do something that you do over and over. When you're done and you're DM and you're done with this encounter, if you hover over to the right of the macro that you've created. You'll see that cross come up. You just drag it up and things are gone. That's it. Quick, easy way to create a macro to speed things up, especially if you're going to do the same thing over and over again. If you like this video, please like it. Please share it with your friends. Mostly I'm doing this for me and for my players so that we can remember how to do these things. Have a great day, everybody.